Oof, oof. My ass hurt. Okay, now wait. It's me, Jesse Ari. My ass hurt cause I slid and busted my ass on some ice recently. I've never been the same since. I'm speaking to lawyers now. So I just wanted to clarify cause I know some of y'all were real confused for a second there. Like real confused, like YSL color shade range confused. So this intro is gonna be a little long cause I wanna explain what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be one of a three part video series. So this is gonna be out on Monday and then Wednesday, Friday. I already talked about it on Twitter, but just in case you don't follow me, what are you doing? Follow me, you know, real quick. Just putting it out there right now. I'm gonna be doing a foundation base video, which is this. I'm gonna focus solely on how I get my face together. And then next video will be brows. And then last video will be an eye look. People have been asking for my foundation routine to really like explain the routine would take up too much time if it was like included in an eye look video. So I just figured give it its own little moment, its own little video, give it a shine and really go into detail to explain how I go from this to this. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and get into this face routine. So of course, before filming and doing any look of any kind before foundation, you always have to like prep your skin. And yeah, we use primer, but even beforehand, you wanna have some kind of skincare routine. Just, you know, give your skin a little love in. Recently, I actually bought the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro, yes, yes. Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. A friend told me about this actually, and I went ahead and bought it and I used it quite a bit of it already. I've had it for about maybe two or three weeks now and honestly I have no complaints. This is pretty dope. I was skeptical at first but I'm kind of in love and I'm definitely gonna have to pick up another one. So if your skin's on the dry side I definitely recommend getting yourself one of these. They sell them at, where did I get this? Any like drugstore, I'm pretty sure Target, um, Kmart even, just you know any old CVS Rite Aid. Like definitely hunt this down. It's worth the purchase. And then for under eyes because we all know how I feel about these hoes. I actually bought this a long while ago while I was in college and I don't use it as often but I still made a dent. This is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. So it looks like this. Does help keep your under eyes a lot hydrated and plump and reduces darkness because it does have like a, how do I say, like a peachy undertone. It's not like clear. There's no way I can swatch that for y'all. But it's like a peachy colored cream so it helps reduce dark circles and it gives you like a nice little brightening effect it's not too extreme but it's you know it's something subtle for when you wake up in the morning you got something to put on and it really helps and even during makeup application concealer does blend in nicely so i definitely recommend if you have some severe dark circles like me okay so now that we're actually going to get into some makeup we're going to talk about primer for a minute so normally i've been using the kat von d feather weight primer locket primer base i actually got this maybe a year ago or a year or two ago and i've used it all recently it's super lightweight and it has like a weird odor to it i'm not gonna lie it's very hydrating so my dry skin appreciates it but for the sake of this video i'm gonna go ahead and use this elf mineral infused primer which is pretty well known i believe and it's actually a really decent primer i think it's like maybe five or six bucks i take like two pumps and go ahead and put this on my face. So I should probably explain technique. What I do is I start from the center. Can you hear me? I start from the center and then I spread it out and like gently just push it into the skin just to like really get that bitch in there. You wanna like squeeze her in there. Just gonna take a little more for the forehead. So just in case for anyone who doesn't know, primer is like mandatory before doing any look. You definitely want to protect your skin from foundation and whatnot. It's basically like a second layer of skin. So when you go ahead and like wash it off, it's not on your skin. So it's not really attached to anything, quote unquote. So it's easier to remove and nothing like crazy is getting absorbed to your skin as quickly as it would be if you put it directly on. So it's like a nice thin shield. And it's also, if you use the right primer, very beneficial. So go ahead, it's a two for one. Get your benefits, sis. So now moving on, I might get a little hate for this cause I got dragged before, but color correcting. I am a big fan of color correcting, clearly. And the LA Girl Pro Conceal in, what is this, orange, red? It's fucking red. Shut up, it's red. 
So I use red to nullify the dark circles on my eyes and any like marks I have around my face. This definitely helps before putting foundation on. Red cancels out dark spots and dark marks. Okay, so I like to put a lot. It's honestly for the greater good. So right after I apply the color corrector, I take a damp beauty blender that keyword I'm using for my foundation. I don't use two separate beauty blenders for color corrector foundation. They're all one thing. So I use one side for the color corrector and go ahead and just blend that in. So there you go. You definitely want to blend in your color corrector as much as you can so it can blend well with your foundation once you put that on top. So now jumping to foundation, the biggest part of this whole ordeal, I use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. <laughs> I've had this for a couple months, you think I remember the name. Um, yes, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, it was recommended by a friend and um, so far I've been happy with it. I've been using it for about maybe five to six months now, but I don't wear makeup every day. So I probably used it 20 times in total and in those 20 times I didn't have any complaints. So I go ahead and put some on the back of my hand and take the butt of the blender, go ahead and dip. And I just dot it all over my face no particular order put some on my eyes on the forehead oh cappy no i don't want to fuck you up and now we're just gonna go ahead and start blending and bouncing oh yeah just in case nobody knows because i've been shocked to read online a lot of people don't know if you have a beauty blender you want to use it when it's damp so go ahead and go in your bathroom and drown that hoe and then squeeze it and then you just go in with your foundation and it helps so much and as you're bouncing it gives you such like a beautiful skin finish that's why you want to bounce you don't want to drag and you see where i applied the red color corrector it just like mixed well with the foundation and gave me some nice coverage and there we go Moving on. Okay, so I really don't wanna keep you guys for too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. So next, of course, is concealer. I use concealer to highlight and just recently bronze contour, kinda, sorta. So for that, so I did a recent video on the ColourPop No Filter Concealers, so if you really wanna see my thoughts on that, go ahead and watch. But just real quickly, I'm gonna tell you how I apply them. Take the stick or whatever, and then go ahead and put it under my eye. And I wanna focus on the high points of my face, so I see here that right here, here is like a divided section where this is the front and then down is where it's flat and there's no shadow so I'm gonna try and keep the concealer on the high point and then I do take a little bit and I go straight down the nose and then bring it up into the forehead and do like a little tree because we rise above and then we're gonna move on to bronzing contouring so I've been kind of learning how to do it with cream because I'm still a little nervous of cream contour so I take the stick and I just put little dots right here and that's it that's all I do because trust me it goes a long way and then here I go ahead and put a little bit and a little bit right here and then on the sides I go like this ready I put some right here and right here so now I'm gonna go in with the same beauty blender that I did my foundation and just start blending this in. I'm gonna just take a clear side and go ahead and just bounce and work it into the sections. Can y'all hear me? The sections that you want to focus the product on. And then here for this like angled section, I like to turn the beauty blender for the pointy part. Oh God, I'm so grown. The pointy part, the pony. <laughs> okay, po fuck pointy part facing the outside so it keeps it slim and I squeeze it a little bit so I can maintain where the product is like control it and I'll just like bring it up and over so then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the forehead okay so I'm gonna go in for my cheeks using a what the fuck whose man's is this okay so i'm gonna use this what is it this moda pro chisel brush or whatever it's like a cute little curve right here so i'm gonna go ahead and just go home and blend it up and blend it out my technique could use some work go ahead and keep blending so now i'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush on my forehead 
So normally when I apply concealer, I immediately set it with RCMA powder, which is right here. Take another blender, damp of course, and then pick some up on the sponge, knock off excess, and set my eyes. So the tip with like setting under eyes, you want to really like push the powder into the concealer. It helps absorb and really, really set it so it will not budge and last you for a good time. I bet I looked real crazy when I was looking at the camera, but that's cool. We friends, right? So as for the nose where I also place the concealer to highlight, I like to take this little tool right here, which you can get at any like Home Depot or where did I get this? Like Michaels or something, arts and crafts stuff. I like to take it, dip it into the powder, go right here, take some off, and then go right down the nose where I place the product. So it's very precise. And then I just like to bounce it around to like slightly push it in the same way I would a beauty blender and really help it, you know, bake. And then I'd go back in with the butt of the blender and put it on the forehead. So now moving on for the foundation powder. I use the Airspun powder, which is a drugstore powder. I believe it's drugstore. I found it at Kmart, so I guess. Um, I take some on the little puff thingy that it comes with and I set the rest of my face with it where I didn't put the RCMA. And again, just really push the powder into the foundation. So normally this is where I would stop for the face and do my eyebrows and then go ahead and wipe off the bake. So since I'm saving eyebrows for the next video, so I'm doing things out of order so I feel a little weird but we're gonna get through it. So to wipe off the bake, I actually go in with a third powder which technically it's not a powder, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Is this a, I believe this is a foundation, no? I don't know, either it's a powdered foundation or just a powder in general, but it's like a pressed powder. It's around my shade, at least a highlight shade. It's the shade 220 for reference. I take a nice little fluffy brush like this, pick some up. I like to press. So it's like removing the bake color, the white powder, but also putting in color. And you just wanna like use the powder to like blend into the contours of your face. Powder really like low key helps blending so much. So let's go in stippling motions on the forehead. And then on the nose, I just go ahead and wipe it off. So that's it, those are the three powders I use for the face. You've made it, congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and powder, bronze, and highlight. I guess I'm gonna do all the final steps as I normally would here since it's focusing on the face. So for me personally, I like to contour and bronze using two products. I go in with the Ulta Contour Kit, which I believe is like maybe $18. This is like one of the first things I've bought ever getting to makeup. So we've come a long way, clearly. And then the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which clearly the shit. I like to use two brushes in particular, two giant fan brushes, which have been through it, sis. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Through it. This is the Morphe 143 fan brush. And to be honest, this is some brush that does have a name that I got from Amazon for like 80 cents, but it took like three years to get to my house, but it was worth it. So what I like to do first is go in with the Hula bronzer and I like to pick some up and then just go in where I placed the cream contour. In circular motions, just going up. So I'm just gonna keep picking up more and then going around my face, like around the temple. Make sure you really blend into your hairline so it looks more natural. You don't wanna be out here looking a fool. And then from the Ulta Contour Kit, I actually take a nice little mix of Golden Bronzer and Goddess Bronzer, and I put it on the most outside of my face. So just like really on the outside, just to like give it some depth. But nothing crazy crazy. Just like really right there. And then this is where the second fan brush comes in. I use this to blend, extra blend, the bronzer and the contour shades. Just a little more, cause nothing's wrong with some more blending. So it's looking nice and blended and bronzed as fuck. So now for blush, um, I'm actually gonna go in with this Fiona Styles blush. I literally only have three blushes. I use this Luxie 640 Precision Tapered Brush and it's like hella fluffy. So I feel like it really helps with the whole keeping the blush light kind of feel, you know? Cause you don't wanna put too much. So I just go in a couple of times, hit off the excess and then get those cheeks out and just lightly start placing the product. 
in circular motions and like blending it into the contoured areas of my face but really focusing the color on the cheek And now finally for the best part of the makeup routine, it is the highlight. And of course, I'm gonna go in with La Peach from Jackie Ina and Artist Couture. And um, actually I found a little technique that really helps keep my highlight blended, but also blinding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explain step-by-step step how I do it. So I pick up some high, A few moments later. So I went ahead and picked up some La Peach on this Morphe Y14 highlighting brush. And for this highlighter, I like to just dab it on where I want it and then just carefully blend it out. So there she is, giving me life. And I just like to bring her up and around. So the closer I get to this section of my face, like the cheek where it rounds out, I like to pat it in a round motion, pull back up, then round motion, and then pull back up. So you got that, but now it's just a streak of highlights. So what I did once for New Year's Eve, I did this on New Year's Eve. Um, I take this random old Amazon brush right here and I go where the edges are and just like really blend those out because nothing's worse than an unblended highlight. And now I'm gonna go back in with a little more and then back in with this brush. So I just noticed that this camera and this lighting setup does not do these highlighters any favors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side, my nose and my forehead, and that's pretty much the face routine. Because I also remembered on New Year's, I took the bronze highlighter and went and picked some up of that girl right here and actually put it into the contour and y'all will see how beautiful this looks now. Boom, look at this picture. This is definitely worth the investment if you didn't get the bundle. I'm still promoting like if they're paying me, but trust me, it is worth it. So I'm gonna take a clean brush, and go ahead and blend that in, because it really does work as a contour bronzer shade, and it looks so good. So this is actually the end of the face routine video. This is how I get my base, my blush, my contour, and my highlight. Um, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Definitely be on the lookout for the brow tutorial base video coming out on Wednesday. And then after that, the eye look that will be accompanying this mug right here. So I hope you guys learned a little something about me, learned something that could definitely help you by any chance. Let me know on Twitter and all that other cute stuff right here. Follow me. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to stick around and join the Medina MUA family. Hit that like button and hit that bell button. God, we sure do ask for a lot. I am so sorry, but it's for the greater good. So yes, until then, I shall see you next time. I love you and goodbye.